Prescott Van Meyer III, Salmiane from Home, another episode in our series of Malort Mixology. We are today making a Manhattan. Instead of using rye, we're using Malort. As usual, that's what we do in this series. So Manhattan normally is rye whiskey with uh, some sweet vermouth, Angostura bitters, some cherry, usually some garnish, either orange, you know, have that ready to go. Instead of the rye whiskey, we're, we're doing Malort. And we got all these other flavors to put in there to hopefully <laughs> maybe mask the smell of that very large animal that died in the drywall. And you need to get it out, but you're not sure where it is. So you just gotta smell it for weeks. We're gonna put that in a glass and I'm gonna drink it. Ugh. I normally say this at the end of the episode, but I'm not always in the right state of mind after this series. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you know when a new video pops up and you wanna see me drinking a Malort cocktail, because that's what you get. Okay, Manhattan, but with Malort, so it's a sad Hatton. A clinically depressed Hatton. All right, doing the classic Manhattan, but I'm gonna do it on ice before I strain it. All right, two ounces of rye. Of course, instead we'll be using Malort. One ounce of sweet vermouth. It says two dashes of bitters, <laughs> just two. I already know there's extreme bitters from the Malort, so maybe the Angostura will cancel it out, you know? Like amplified sound waves, canceling each other out. And these are quite literally the best cherries on the planet, and I am so sorry for what I'm about to do. Kind of looking like a Bloody Mary, so uh, let's give it a sip. Just see what happens. That many bitters was the right choice. They really are duking it out. And uh, Angostura is, is kind of winning a little bit, which I appreciate. This is not the worst thing ever. There's a lot of flavors going on with that one. Wow, that's powerful. That's uh, demonic. That is like a very powerful demon that has cursed you to the third and the fourth generation. Woo! And Malort has got a hell of an uppercut, doesn't he? But you know what Angostura does? The Johnny Hollywood split, punch in the taint. The problem is, is that Malort really likes getting punched in the tape. I used to think that the pudendum was the area between your genitals and your anus, but I think the pudendum is in your throat. I also didn't know what a chode was for a very long time, but I imagine this is what a chode tastes like. Who's laughing now, Chadwick? I'm not totally sure I understood that reference, but I said it. Chadwick's my brother. If you wanna know more, watch the other episodes. I talk about him, still owe him money. This may or may not be his property. I'm having difficulty focusing right now. All I can be right now is taste buds. That's what I am. Taste buds that are going through a very traumatic experience. If taste buds were a punching bag, Malort would be giving me the old rope a dope, the old shoe shine. Just like Rocky, who's from Manhattan, as we all know. No, he's from uh, he's from Philadelphia. My brain is mush. I guess the only thing I can do is to try to eat the cherry. This feels like just a morass of OSHA violations. I don't know how, 
but I feel like I've literally broken every single guideline that OSHA recommends. Sorry, OSHA. I am sorry. My mouth is a danger zone, so if you get near it, wear a hazmat suit. It's not the good Kenny Loggins kind of danger zone. No, you want to get on the highway to that one, away from this danger zone. Ooh, life sometimes sucks. Anyways, like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Ooh, yeah, feeling that headache, come on. If you have ideas for additional drinks, type them below. I'll read your comment, despise you for a split second, and then try to bring it into the series. I love you, but I also kind of hate you right now. But ultimately, I love you.